Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Well, guys, the Bolo knife is complete. It's been revived. It's been restored. Uh, we've got a new handle on it. It's sharp as a samurai sword, and I'm not going to lie. I knew he would do it. Uh, Mr. Gordon from Hambone Blaze did not disappoint. I knew I was taking it to the right person. Uh, I, but I had so much footage, guys. I had over two hours of footage. I had to put it in two different videos. This video here is going to be about just putting the handle on. And it's maple wood. It's beautiful. You won't believe the outcome. I, I can't even tell it's wood now. But uh, it is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, but he was really cool to hang out with. And I really hope to get to hang out with him again. Because I learned so much from him yesterday. And uh, I just had a ball. And uh, he's got a 1972 Chevelle that you won't believe. The paint job is over 20 years old. Um, it's an awesome car. Sounds really good. You'll get to hear it. But again, guys, the second video is going to be about him sharpening the blade. But he's going to give me some stuff to give away next month. He gives me a, a bunch of knives. He gives me some handle material. He's just an awesome guy. Awesome guy. Uh, very cool. And he's very knowledgeable. And you can learn so much. But these two videos, guys, are just filled with cool stuff. And you will learn a lot. It's just packed with information on knife making. So, uh, I hope you enjoy these videos, guys, because, again, it's going to be part one and part two. And these two are kind of long because, again, I had over two hours of footage. I wish I could put them all in one and just let y'all see it, but it's over two hours. <laughs> you know, um, the first one's going to be uh, right at 30 minutes long. The second one is going to be about the same. So, uh, I just hope y'all enjoy the videos. And uh, again, this is going to be part one, and part two will be coming out right after it. So uh, be on the lookout for it sometime today. Uh, but again, guys, thank y'all for tuning in. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. All right, guys, we're, we're here in, in Gordon's shop, and this is Mr. Gordon. He makes knives, and uh, he does, makes some razor-sharp knives. He makes some good-looking knives, and uh, he's going to tell you where you can follow him on, on uh, Facebook and TikTok and all that. So... Hey y'all, uh, Handbone Blades, you can find me, you can find that, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, any of those. Uh, don't currently have a website right now, but I am working on that. Um, really just a hobbyist, and it kind of exploded from there. Yeah, but, that's, that's cool, man. So, uh, where do you buy all your stock at and everything? Uh, different places. Uh, get a lot from Pops Knife Supply. Um... Alpha Knife Supply, mm -hmm. just all kinds of different places. Amazon, get some of the stuff from Amazon. Very uh, cool, man. Yeah. Well, um, I bought an anvil from him in a, in a forge. That's how we met. And uh, when I pulled up in his yard the first time, I knew it was going to uh, become friends because he's got a Sasquatch and a bear out there in the front yard. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted a Sasquatch to put down in my yard. But, uh, but I appreciate you doing this, man. Uh, Absolutely. And what we're going to do is just, just tell them what you plan on, on doing like with that knife. We're going to put some curly maple wood scales on here. Uh, and then, of course, we'll shape it up, get them glued up. And then we're going to sharpen this thing to where it can cut anything he wants to. <laughs> Steak, tree, it doesn't matter. That's good to hear, man. Good, good to hear. Well, he's fixing to get 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 busy and all, and uh, and then we're gonna be showing you how he's gonna be doing, and then we're gonna show some of his knives off at the end. So y'all stick around. All right, I think we're fixing to cut the scales now, guys. But I knew I was bringing it to the right person because that's a special knife. All right, I'm about to sand this thing down. Get the flat edge on it. This right here. This is where I sharpen all my knives on. Is it really? What what kind of grit do you use? Uh, this is for sharpening. Yeah. Um, I start with like a worn out 80 grit um, or a 120. Mm -hmm. Then I move to a 220 or 240, mm -hmm. then a 400, and then I, then I scrap them. Okay. Um, it... It takes time to get good at it. I, mean, I wasn't yeah. very good at first. Yeah. But, you know, as many knives as I've, I've made, I've, I've gotten pretty good at it. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> All right. Let's get this one. Now, 
sure we're still good here. This is one piece, so what I do is I drill it, and you want an extra hole in this thing. This thing is not flat. It's not. No. Let me smooth this out a little bit. Sure. Copper? You, whatever you suggest putting it in there, buddy. I like copper. I like I like the way it looks too. What you want when you temper a knife, the blue is not. Uh huh. I got you. The straw color, which is which? The bottom. Okay. Well, do you see it? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, right. I see it now. You're talking about like pine straw. Yeah. I, yeah. I got you. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what do you call them things there? One, two, three blocks. One, two, three blocks. Perfectly machined and squared. I have to Wait. remember that. Yeah, keep get me some. Lined up. Mm hmm. So we'll start with that middle hole right there. These pins are three sixteenths. Okay. Uh, but the drill bit is thirteen sixty four. A little bit bigger. And that way, it allows the pins to go in easily. And then, uh, then what I'll do is I'll paint them over after, uh -huh. we, after we do our glue up. I got you. And it will be just fine. Actually, have a a better hold on it than uh -huh. just glue or epoxy. Yeah, these are the best drill bits I found. All star mm -hmm. performance. They're expensive. Where, where do you buy them from? Amazon. From Amazon. Yep. I got one drill bit was seventeen dollars, but it's worth it, especially when you're working with you know spring steel like that. Oh yeah, it's that spring steel is hard, ain't it? Yeah, you, it's almost a necessity to have. You can't go to. The Harbor Freight and buy those things. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. I, I don't buy the only drill bits I buy from Harbor Freight are these. Okay. That's it. All right. Man. Doing this will save us a little bit of time. Uh huh.
Now, back in the bandsaw. And what kind is that there? Grizzly. Talking about the bandsaw? Mm hmm. Dead grizzly. I just got it actually. Yeah. I had this stand and then I had it outside there for a long time. Um, I had it, actually had an, another bandsaw in it. I bought at a yard sale one day and it broke. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just had it around, cut a couple pieces of two before, and it on there. Perfect. I bolted it down. Mm-hmm. Perfect, man. It, it does really good. So far, I'm pretty impressive. What I like about your this band saw is it's got this up here and you can put that and slide yeah. it over to it and get yeah. a straight cut. Yeah. Mine don't have that. I might yeah. look at getting me one of them. I had a shop smith and uh it was uh it was loud. It was so it'd wake neighbors up. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This, this one's nice. Small too, right? that's what I like. Yeah, it was only I got on Amazon, it was uh three hundred dollars. Really? Yeah. 288, I think, is what it was. I have to look it up, man. Might be one of my next shop uh, purchases. Nice. Right. Yeah. Well, we got to make those flat with each other. I usually I usually use I'll show you right here. I usually use 30 minute, but since we're limited with time today, we'll, we'll use the five minute cure. Okay. That way we can get the sanding on a little bit quicker. Where do you pick those up at? I got it at Pops. At Pops? Yeah. And it's called uh Pops Knife Supply in Brazelton, Georgia. Okay. And they they ship out quick. And they also um they give you a, a certain shipping rate and I always get a refund back on part of it. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, that's <laughs> right. nice to know. I like that. What we'll do here. So you mix them two together to make it? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Kind of like JB Weld almost. Use a little cup. First of all, we got to get this and the wood clean. Uh huh. And uh, just for safety. Make sure we got the right ends together. This is right left. Now we know these go to the outside. Mm. So that way, we don't mess around and put the glue on the wrong side. Because I'm known for doing that. <laughs> uh, I would be that way too, man. I use a lot of paper towels, a lot of acetone. Did you want that box too? Yes, sir. If you don't mind. Thank you. So that, that's uh, the, the, the acetone there? Yep. Acetone. Mass quantities of acetone, Windex, WD-40, mm -hmm. degreaser. Yeah, I stabilized this wood myself. Did you really? Yep. And that's, you put it in a pressure, pressurized chamber. Vacuum, vacuum chamber. Vacuum yep. chamber. Yep. You're really putting... Filling this with plastic is what you're doing. Mm. So this water will never swell up on you. Wow. <clears throat> That's awesome, man. All right. So now we got that. Since I'm down here. There you go. Ain't that cool? Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'll, I'll mail you one of mine. I was going to... Uh, I, I was going to bring you one, but I forgot. I got something else I'm going to give you, too, before you leave. I appreciate that, man. So, uh, some blade wax that I make. Oh, wow. Why are you doing this? Mixing those two together right now. 
And once we get started with this, don't take no time, do mm -hmm. No, nope. you got five minutes, if that. Five minutes is just a grace period, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it really probably depends on the the temperature of the room. It does. It yeah. does. Like I've I've heated this stuff is coming here and it's so cold and I put it in front of the forge or in front of my heater. Mm hmm And uh it'll get actually almost like water mm -hmm. thin. And then once you mix it together, it's like one minute. Wow. And then it's curing up. So yeah. I, I stopped doing that. I try to keep it at room temperature. Uh-huh. Almost smell like uh like a perm or something though. Yeah. Yeah. So you put it on each pen too? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, we'll uh, paint these over also. Try to cover all that surface area. Mm -hmm. That way there ain't no dry spots. Pretty big knife though, ain't it? I mean, I mean it's yeah, it's, it's compared big. to what you used to. I think it's it's awesome. It's awesome. I like it. I might have to make one one day. I heard that. That'd be cool, man. That's good. So that stuff is set in five minutes? Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, it takes, it really takes 24 hours to cure. Uh-huh. Clean that glue off, or uh, I keep calling it glue. It's not glue. Wow. Already sitting up. Mm-hmm. I'll have to give, give me some of that, man. And it's called Pops Knife Supply, huh? Yeah. Pretty cool. But to be as old as this thing is, it's in really good shape. Yeah, it is. I thought so, too. My neighbors love me for this. <laughs> what I do for this one. You don't want to do too much because you split your wood. Oh, wow. You're just widening it out. Yeah. And that just sets it in there real yeah, Same good. thing with these, too. If you paint those too much, uh -huh. yeah, it'll widen it out.
wow. That feels so good, man. It's only going to get be get better from there, ain't it? That's right. That's right. All right, now. That's so awesome. And that is, 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 is the maple wood, ain't it? Yeah, that is curly maple. Curly and maple. And it's going to be, it's going to be pretty. Mm-hmm. It's going to be pretty. Awesome. Well, what are you going to do with this sander here now? We're going to smooth it out. Smooth it out. Yep. What grid are you going to use for it? Start off with 120. 120. And what do you end up with? Uh, probably 400. Wow. Yeah, Oh my god. Big difference in it. Yeah. Check that out, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Feels really good. Man, yeah. Wow. That thing's got some weight to it. Yeah, it does. For a good reason, though. <laughs> now that's 400 grit. This is 240. 240. And what did you just have on there? 120. 120. You gonna move up to 400? Yeah, the next one will be 400. Unless you think it's gonna be too shiny. No. <laughs> it's, it's gonna just be a show knife. If I have to use it, I will, but hopefully I don't ever have to. <laughs> you might have to get me a sheath made. You that river supplies, didn't you? Yeah, I'm going to contact him, J.O. Ventures Outdoors, see if he can't make me one. You see them sheets he made me? Yeah. Those yeah. are nice, wasn't, wasn't they? He from uh, uh, the Illinois. Yeah, I remember that. I didn't think it'd get any smoother. But dang, look. Check, check the handle out. How beautiful it's going to be. Man, when you put oil on this, it's really going to pop. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that next. Yeah. Before we book it. Yeah. Everybody likes to see that. I like to see that. Man, it's beautiful. You're the man, dude. That handle feels so great. I like the way you beveled it down, too. Like, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, and it's bigger on the end. Uh huh. You know that way when you're slinging it, it's yeah. not gonna fly out of your hand. Of course, that that lanyard right there holds on. Yeah. Out. Surprised it didn't have one on there. Yeah. So you're 400 grit now. Is that right? Yep. I left my baby in the bowl. Get some oil here. I'll come back around here. All right. Now, what kind of oil are you using? Boiled linseed oil. Boiled linseed oil. That's some good stuff, too. Mm -mm. Look at that. See how that maple's just pops when you put that oil on there. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Beautiful. Let it soak in. Man. Man, Ain't that satisfying? Yeah, that is beautiful, man. And them copper pins just highlight yeah. it. Yes, sir. That's why I like using it. Yeah, I ain't even never thought of that, man. That is beautiful. 
Dude, you can't even tell it's wood, man. <laughs> you know it, and you and you said it does have plastic soaked into it because mm -hmm. he pressurized yeah. it. Wow, check that out, y'all. Yeah, I knew I'd come to the right person. <laughs> he does excellent work. Now, let's see if we can get it any better. Yep, one buffer. Now, this is the most dangerous tool in this shop. Is it? It is very dangerous. There's been many knife makers get killed by one of these things. Really? Yeah. Because it come. Grab a hold of where you got a hold of and sling back around. And, oh. You know, on the chest or head or, or wherever it might be. God, oh. Glad you told me that. Now, what's that stuff you're spraying on there now? It's WD-40. Oh, That's all right. WD-40. I love this stuff. I buy it by a gallon. That's just a good, good all-around yeah. clean cleaner, this, isn't it? This thing, I can pop that top off and refill it instead of getting the, the spray ones. Uh-huh. Yeah. Got, got that on Amazon. That's awesome. Man, I don't know if I'm going to give you this knife back. <laughs> oh, man. It looks like it's turning out really, really good, man. Dude, I can't believe that's wood. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. It's smooth. I wish I wish your uh, oh my. viewers could feel it. Oh, my God. Oh, here I am. Look at it, yeah. No hand sanding. No hand sanding whatsoever. Look at that. You can't even tell it's wood. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful work, man. Check that out. Ain't that beautiful work? You do great stuff, man. How long did that take? Maybe an hour yeah. at the most. Yeah. Maybe a little From over start an hour. To finish, yeah. yeah. That's cutting the wood. Yeah. Drilling the holes. And me, me, me talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one more thing to do before we move on to the next step. Clean up the lantern hole. It's the details. You gotta go over the details. Uh huh. Let's do I know. Ain't that crazy? It's amazing what a bill hood up in a hole. You know what? The biggest thing I learned from Mr. Gordon yesterday. I need a bigger shop, and I need some better equipment. <laughs> I'm on. I want to do exactly what he's doing. Uh, he does excellent work. He really does. Uh, fix and go let my chickens out and feed them but uh look for part two guys it'll be out soon after part one but uh as always guys thank y'all for tuning in today i just want to say god bless y'all and until we meet again guys y'all be like a good night stay sharp